Uh, let's get reaction to all of this. Jacqueline says, I think the Downing Street party is being stoked up and kept alive as a subject by left-wing punters trying to attack Boris. Well, it's very hard for him to deflect uh, criticism on all of this. People who work in the same office together all day, just having a socially distant drink together, still in the office is OK, in my view. Folks, is that how you see this at home? They're telling you to keep apart. They're telling you not to go to funerals, not to have weddings, whatever, and they are doing that. Is that OK? Yeah, Paul thoroughly disagrees. He said, I've lost loved ones and friends during COVID and couldn't care less about these so-called parties or gatherings. Get over it. OK, so he's agreeing with Jacqueline. He says, what's more concerning is where all these stories and images are coming from. Now, we had Daniel Moylan, uh, Lord Moylan, who sits in the, in the House of Lords, defending uh, the Prime Minister on this one. Frank is saying it's hypocrisy. He's defending the hypocrisy of Boris Johnson. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Uh, and his an apology is all that is needed with this. Why does sorry uh, often seem to be the hardest word? Yeah, quite. Uh, I had a few tweets as well, uh, a little bit offended by Lord Moylan. This one saying, for goodness sake, if Boris was a leader, as your guest suggests, surely when that email came out as a leader, he should have stopped it rather than attend it. That's what would have been leadership. And here's Steve. Steve saying, all the things going on in the world, and you seem to be, I presume you mean our programme, seem to be Boris bashing. Uh, the guy has got us through this pandemic. The media should be ashamed of themselves. Really? Really? Who should really be ashamed of themselves uh, throughout all of this one? Yeah, let us know your thoughts. It is getting you going this morning. Sometimes let I think, don't let us know your thoughts. Yeah. Sometimes I think, yeah. don't want to know your don't thoughts know. on this. I mean, this is, this is scandalous. This is, if you had a shred of decency, you would say, I'm sorry. Not, we've got an inquiry, we're on to Well, you're in the garden, you were getting sozzled, uh, you were not socially distanced, end off. Mm -hmm. That's it. Why do we need an inquiry for that? And just 30 minutes after a national broadcast where the rest of the world sat in front of their televisions, being told by the then Culture Secretary, Oliver Dowden, that they could only meet one person outside, socially distanced. And there are official emails to back all of this one up. I'd love to see if the inquiry would find... Uh, any mitigating circumstances. Yeah, well, Sue Gray, who is doing the investigation into the now numerous parties, uh, first of all, it's just Christmas parties, now we know they're spring, summer parties as yeah. well. She's a tough one. She said that this, the buck will stop right at the top, so it'll be very interesting where she comes down on this. We're not quite sure when her investigation will uh, conclude 